religious unity. I don't like people who are different than me. That sounds like you. Don't make me purge your culture. I don't know that they just up and left so much as he died. Don't be like a child. Are you being what's his face right now? I thought it was a Patrick Stewart. Oh shit. Fuck that me. wasn't oh. Patrick Stewart. Sh 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 shatty. Ooh, five prestige. Tell you put more casual. You're an idiot. Why, why am I an idiot? Because you are. I'm confused. Oh god, one of my neighbors has a three-star general. Four, five, four, two. Alright, so... Oh. I want that stab point. Alright, so army maintenance is about to go way up. We're gonna have to go into debt, but that's all right because I want Novgorod. So you guys yeah, keep dude, nagging me. Well, that's the traditional first kill for for Muscovy is Novgorod, and I'm pretty sure to form Russia you have to take their capital. I have to take your face. I heard you, Cyben. Yeah, I did it. I did it purposely, sigh really loud. Just be happy that you're fucking pretty. Not just pretty. Fucking pretty. Oh, we're not losing stabs, seeing as I just... I hate when that happens. Good lord. Alright, so... Declare war. Take Novgorod. I'm gonna say take Novgorod. That's gotta be their capital. Mm -hmm. the capital of Novgorod's Novgorod, yeah. You want me to beat you? What? Don't be making fun of me. Do. All their land is being sieged, is already sieged down right now, though. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, they're, they're at war. So you declare war while they're weak and then just wait for that person to piece out of their war, then just pick up the pieces. Should I send my guys down to Odiev? I don't know what the world looks like for you. Maybe I that's can't what I'll see do. You. Like, I could see Ojev. I could I see, see you, Cook. Can you see me? We've been I married for I too can't long. I can see past that. I do could do. Maybe almost afford an advisor? Do do. Concentrate on Lithuania and Odia for now. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what you're gonna duck to do. That's what I'm gonna duck to do. Baluchistan, you're bad and you should feel bad. You're bad, you should feel bad. Well, I'm the only stan in the land. You're pretty, is what you are. Look at how many forts I have. God, I'm impressive. Boo, 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 boo. Looks like Novgorod is not... Yeah, their war's over. So as soon as I'm done here... Well, I'm actually already done over there. So we're gonna go up here. And we're gonna go up here. And we're gonna start taking Novgorod. And my, my vassals are gonna help me out elsewhere. Denmark, I think, took up here. From what I can tell. Do, 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 do. I love having friendos. I love having vassals. <sighs> My ports are blockaded. What fucking ports? We've got humiliate rival on Baluchistan. Nobody likes you, Interesting. Except for all of your friends. Oh, like, fuck. Shit. Shit. Uh, wow, I won. How did I win? Oh, I'm about to lose this, though. Oh, I'm about to lose it. Don't go. Oh, I won that again. Oh, fuck. Wait, you declared war on Lithuania? Shit. 
they just stacked wiped me. I wait, won wait, wait. twice, and then they stack wiped me. I'm confused. Why? What, what, what is this? I declared war on Novgorod, and then. That's bad. That was that was an ill-advised war. Who told you to do that? Midge. Yeah, that was ill-advised. Ah, they already got me. And now they're sieging down my capital. Well, you lost your first war. That's a, that, that's sad. Thanks, Ben. That's nothing I can do about it. Midge I said I'm fine. Don't worry. I don't see how I'm going to be fine through this, Midge. Uh, did, he, did he say he's fine or you're fine? I'm fine. Got to rebuild your army as best you can. That's I don't have any work. manpower. I'm not going to be able to build my army right now. That's what mercenaries are for. I don't... I've been. I've never done marks. You've never it's, taught me how to do it. It's, it's the exact same thing as a, as a, as a normal army. You just go to the land units, and instead of land units, you build mercenaries. I still don't know how to do that. You go to the land units tab, and you build mercenaries instead of regular units. They really don't actually have a lot of manpower. I mean, I'm still technically winning. Well, are your vassals doing the work? Yeah, my vassals are doing the work right now. Kind of. I mean... Well, they, they've sieged down... I can see the bit of Lithuania they've sieged down. So they've taken Odiev. I took Odiev. Well, at least you did that. We're going to actually go stop their siege at, the, at my capital. At least attempt to. So are I don't you even... just passively watching them? <laughs> passively watching now? Oh, uh, let me see. What was I going in here for? I have no army professionalism. No, I know you wouldn't this early. How do I? It says that I can call my allies to war. How do I do that? You click if, if you have the. Uh, is it a pop up? Oh, Stop shit. The pause the game uh, if you need to. I can't pause the game. Yes, you can. See? Yeah, they just killed me. I thought you said you didn't have any. I don't get it. So you can call your allies to war. Yeah, Alliance I mean, actions? You can use a Russian ability. Strengthen government. Oh, shit. Oh, my subjects have a lot of liberty desire right now. Well, yeah, because you don't have an army to keep them suppressed hey, anymore. If you want to play on a lower speed so you can manage the war better, just say it. I'll lower the speed when you, if you need to. Well, right now, I have fucking no military whatsoever. Yeah, you either have to. So, how many troops do your vassals have? It doesn't look like a lot. And you should call your any allies available into it. I did. I don't even know why I'm... I mean, I'm still technically winning this war, but I think it's because of my... Yeah, I mean, right now the war score is negative one to Lithuania, so you're winning by a point. Hope. It, you, you, you might just want to wait these out in the second you can. If that's it, if they'll, they're willing to accept that. Nope. 
They are not. If I could get Lithuania out of it, it wouldn't be so bad, but I don't think I could get Lithuania no, out a, of it. No, they're, they're doing nothing but winning right now from their point of view. They're not going to want out of this war anytime soon. You either have to just accept the loss and surrender or hope your vassals can do the trick or murk up and try to put an army into the field. What happened with my army? One of them got stack wiped. One of them? You have more? I had two armies, but they got stack wiped because people kept going after them. If I could take Novgorod, then I would get the war goal, which would be nice, but I've got a 9.4k army ahead of me, so I don't... that If they come after me, I'm screwed. And they're coming after me. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get out of there. Did you have troops hanging out nearby? And I'm taking the negative. I'm going to have to just... I'm going to have to get out of this war. It's not going to be cheap. You can't actually siege the war goal, Ryan. Why not? Does somebody else own it? I can actually take Odiev. You should get out of the war as soon as you can. With whatever you can. It, it, even if it was white peace. Are you out? I just took Odiev out. Oh, you separate peace with them? Yep. Oh. Lithuania and Novgorod are both medium. I could do an unconditional surrender. No, don't do that. That gives them a 100% war score. That, that, that's, that, that's you throwing up your hands and Off saying... Offer tribute, Ben? I don't think that they want to give me tribute. Is that it? No, they're not going to... You can't demand anything... Then how that. do I white peace out of it? You, the way you white peace out is to have nothing on the, the peace screen. Ask for nothing. And, it, and then if you go down to the, the box, it'll say you ask for a white peace. White peace Suggest offer? Else. No, just hit clear. It says X. That means they're not willing to accept a white peace yet. So you either have to keep fighting Peace them. offer... It doesn't look like. I guess I'll have to accept it. What do they? What do they want? I get a negative three point two prestige. Lithuania will gain three power projection. Novgorod will gain three power projection. Muscovy will lose seven power projection. What's to say above that? A total of three point two prestige will be divided between Novgorod. They don't want anything. Oh, I will see seed. One province, it looks like. That might Res have. That that might be that might just be worth it. I might have to just take it. If it's just one province, it's not that big of a deal, and you are not in a position to really do any fighting. Uh, Great Horde just offered to rent me their army. <laughs> yeah, thanks. It's a little late. Did you have the money to pay me for it? I have a loan. I've got two people with 100% liberty desire, another one with 92%. What you're going to want to do is improve relations with all of your vassals and rebuild your army as soon as possible. Like, the second you get a thousand men in the bank, just recruits the rope. Just have, have them recruit in as you. Because the, one of the big things that keeps Liberty and Desire down is the, the relative strength in your character. So if you increase your strength, the relative strength will go down and it'll be less. Who is this? Hit. Why do I have great horde separatists in my... Is that my land? I see great horde separatists in Rizan. Uh, Rise what we're talking about? I've got a few of them. Odevian separatists. 
Well, oh, the, the Odevian separatists were the Odevian army, but you destroyed their country, so they turn into separatists because they don't have an army. All right, so they're saying that I can go in here, demand military support. Yeah, I think you could reduce liberty desire for the cost of prestige or something like that. Something along those lines. Oh, somebody else declared war on me. Probably for independence. I need to yep, fucking slow this down. Yeah, it's an independence uh, war. So what do I do? You Raise additional to, levies? You might just have to grant... I don't know if you can fight that. That's one, two, three, four, five, six enemies. Do you have any troops? I have 5.1k troops. So you're going to need to... How many troops do they have in the field? I mean, Ryzan is half occupied right now by rebels, so... I just got 4,500 4, troops. Demand admin support, make generous donations, six. Gain army. What are you trying to do? feel like throwing her into the east was not the best idea. Yeah? No, she's capable of handling it. She just made some boner moves. She's the strongest of power in the region. I don't think that I can fucking take this right now. I only have 8k troops right now. Oh, nope. 5.1k. How many do they have? A lot. So then you might just have to surrender to them. What they, what they want is... Well, I don't know. They might try to take your land. Yep. I don't know how they... I really don't know how... I don't do independence wars a lot, so... I mean, I could try to fight what I can fight, but... Yeah, I have AK for my vassal, but that's not going to help me when I've got... Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm fucked. Oh, I'm fucked. They almost just stack wiped me. There's nothing I can do about this. You might just have to give in to them and see what they do to you. Defend capital is what they want from me. And they're all high. I'm I'm screwed. There's nothing I can do about this. Yeah, independence wars are are basically battles fought and the capital is the only thing that matters matters. They won't even let me white peace out of this. There's nothing I can do about it. No, no, no. White peace says that nobody wins. They're not gonna white peace out when they know they're winning. Then how do I end the fucking war? You surrender. White how? peace means nobody wins. You go to them and either hit, you offer tribute and hit suggest offer and see what they want. All they're doing is calling in all their allies and killing me. Who is this? This is them. I don't know how to offer peace. Screen, go to offer tribute. That's telling the, the um, they won't demand. accept it. Won't accept what? I said offer tribute, release nations. Well, offer tribute is just saying that you're offering to end the war, but then you have to, it's like offering a peace screen when you win, you have to tell them what you're offering up. If you hit suggest demand, it will auto fill it in as whatever they will accept. Let me see. They're gonna take Vyaka, Vladimir. They're gonna take a bunch of my land and 200 ducats. Yep, that's rough. 
they're going to take a whole bunch of land and a whole bunch of money, which I don't have. Well, those are the options. Because I pretty much have no military now. I have, like, nothing. This is going to take me a while to get back from. Well, that's not an issue. As long as you don't die, as, a na as long as they don't destroy your nation, then the game moves on and you prepare for the next war. Everybody loses a war every once in a while. An alliance offer from Perm? Sure. The only other thing you could do is to hire in mercenaries and try to piece out or, or a piecemeal destroy their armies and piece out some of the other guys. Wait, can we piece out the people we intended for? I actually don't know. I never fight them. Oh, did you did you actually piece it? Yeah, you did. Muscovy. Uh, you're allied with those guys. You have a royal marriage with two of Let's them. See. You're still, you're, you're not, you, you just gotta recover the economy and you'll be able to pull back from that. Still got, you still got the important areas, like your capital. What's a good idea to take? Uh, for Russia? For Russia. Proto-Russia? Probably like quantity, maybe? Or offensive or defensive? No, offensive might be good. Those would all be good choices. Who's not happy? Well, they're almost happy, so I'm not gonna fuck around with that right now. I still have fucking. This is fucking ridiculous. I still have. A separatist in my area that I can't even take care of right now. What kind of separatists? Oh, Devian separatist and yeah. Great Horde separatist. So the Odevian ones was because you destroyed their nation while they had a standing right. army. And the Great Horde ones just want to be... How many are there compared to you? 8k and I have 3.2. Alright, so just... Uh, as long as they don't enforce, as long as you can get them uh, taken care of before they enforce their demands, then it's fine. If it, when they get close to enforcing their de demands, a pop up will show up on your screen. Well, I only have 3.3 right now. I can't do shit about it. No, you gotta wait until you have enough troops to deal with it, then deal with it. The AR is the AI is retarded. <laughs> and I can just barely see what's going on over there because I can see Lithuania, Ryzan. I can see your capital, but not like the rest of your country. Oh, I have three loans. That's fantastic. Hey, Babic. Thanks for the follow. When I was recording yesterday, I went like nine loans deep to win a war for like one province. Meanwhile, in Afghanistan, I convert some people who are slightly different than me. You'll be able to pull back from that. It's not the end of the world. Sure. But you've never you've you've never played a nation before that that isn't the you know freaking top of its tier. You're just a, you're not a world power, you're a regional power, well you were. And as long as you have one province left, you can you can come back from it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've done it. Okay. It'd be nice. Why am I not getting manpower right now? Is it because my maintenance is down? Uh, no, it's because what's happening is... There's manpower in the bank, but I have my army maintenance slider down. Is that why? 
Okay, so what is the question? Rephrase. I only it? have three and a half true, three and a half k troops. I have twelve hundred manpower, but they're not joining my troops. They're not reinforcing. No. Is your maintenance Why? letter on zero? That's what I just said. Uh, well, you just said your maintenance letter. So do down. I need I to know, slide it up? Yes. They don't reinforce if the maintenance slider is on zero. I don't really want to be in the negative right now. You can, you don't have to slide it all the way up. You just have to put it partially up. There we go. I just put it enough to where I'm not in the negative. Yeah, if you yeah, if you just slide it up just a little bit above zero, then they'll start reinforcing. It'll go. That from should be your good bank. enough now. Yeah, it'll go from your bank into your manpower pool, and then like, how many regiments is that total? I don't know. Let's click on the army and count. I don't have any professionalism right now, Scout. Yeah, we're it, we're only a few years into the game. I'm supposed to have eighteen thousand in my in my troops right now, and I have four four and a half k right so now. So that's that's eighteen regiments, and there's only four thousand men in there. Yep. That's gonna take a bit to, to deal with. Yep. Well, and now they stack wipe completely stacked wipe one of my armies. Um. And did you already you already begged man, man, manpower out of the estate? Yep. Yep. You just gotta wait then. Nothing else to do. Wait, maybe an event will fire that'll give you some more. But your your manpower gain should be relatively decent. I wonder if I could get the Great Horde to like me some more. Probably. I'm going to improve relations with them and see if I can get them to like me. Well, they're Sunni, so they're going to pre be predisposed. Yeah, they don't like me because I'm not because I'm not their religion. Yeah, you're orthodox. Oh, Kazan hates me. I just begged the queen for more money. <laughs> Wait, you the, the event popped up and you asked for money? You should ask for manpower. Oh, I didn't even think about it. You gotta read those. I did read it. I just saw money and I have a shit ton of loans in the bank. Apparently, I hate perm now. I'm just gonna march into the mountains. You don't have any friends, so... Nope. I can punch you. No, not you. I'm talking to some guy next to me who doesn't have any friends. I don't know why nobody likes him, but I will... I will allow him to be friendless. Ports up. Claim fabricated. Oh, I have 7k troops. It's better than nothing. Well, and the higher that gets, the less likely it'll be that people will fuck with you. Because when they sense you're weak, they'll just jump on you. Ugh. Oh, I should probably check to see if this guy has a military trade. What is your name? I don't know. What's your name? Lithuania is going to hell over something. Let Denmark, out. Sweden, and Norway? Serves oh, you right, God. bitches. What is that over... Oh, Denmark's just trying to steal their shit. Yep. Oh, they deserve it. Well, I mean, it works works to your benefit. Yeah, they're busy with Denmark right now. You... Do you have any what vassals act? yet? I believe so. Do you still have vassals? I should. How do I check that? Diplo page. Uh, improving relations, improving relations, allied... That's the Great Horde. It would say, right? I don't see that I'm... Yeah, it would say. No, you don't have any vassals. No, it doesn't look like they it. All broke, 
you, they all broke away. Well, they had high liberty desire. It doesn't really surprise me. Hey, those great horde uh, separatists just went bye-bye. They just peaced out. Did they take anything from you? No, they just left. Okay, that's good. Because separatists can fire in other people's countries and then walk into your land and try to take your stuff as well. There's money. 